Welcome into the Panthers.com video mailbag presented by Cinta. Staff writer Max Henson here answering your questions as Carolina gets ready to host San Diego. We've got our first question this week from Ike. It says, I was very impressed by the way the O-line played against Seattle. Do you feel they will do the same against San Diego? Yeah, I know a lot of things didn't go right for Carolina in that game on Saturday Night Football against the Seahawks, but you've got to give a lot of credit to that offensive line who's dealing with so many injuries up front, so much shuffling around. They didn't give up a sack against that Seahawks defensive front, which we know is very imposing, very physical, very disruptive. And that's something to be proud of coming out of that game. And Tyler Larson making his first career start at center. You've got Trey Turner playing right tackle. Of course, he's usually at right guard. There's a lot of moving parts right now for that offensive line. They're doing their best to hold it together, and they're trying to give this team a chance to win offensively. And definitely a lot of credit goes to them and those offensive line coaches for doing the best to keep that unit strong, even though it's been a patchwork effort. Now this week, you look at what's going on against San Diego, obviously got a very difficult challenge. Joey Bosa, Melvin Ingram, two really good edge rushers. Going to be another challenge for those tackles for Carolina. Try to keep Cam clean, but it's going to be essential if the Panthers want to come away with a win. And our next question from Fastback, who says, how is the team holding up going into Sunday's game after losing tough back-to-back -back games? Holding up the best they can, and it was definitely tough. That West Coast trip out there for the full 10 days, tough loss in heartbreaking fashion to the Raiders, followed that up with, as we mentioned, a, a really difficult, lopsided defeat in prime time against the Seahawks. But this team has always been able to kind of hit the reset button and get ready for another week. And I think that's what you're going to see from this group especially the leaders on this team. We'll have these guys focused and ready to go, especially coming back home. I think that's big for this group after that West Coast trip to be back playing at Bank of America Stadium in front of this home crowd. Then you're gonna see an energized effort. This team wants to get back on the right track, wants to get that winning feeling again after a really difficult road trip. We got our last question from Tony Freeze who asks, are we going to tank the rest of the season and go for a high draft pick? No, uh, that's not going to happen. This team will not allow that to happen. That's really just not how it works in this league. Uh, there's too much pride at stake. There's too much work that goes into an NFL season. You go all the way back to off-season training and training camp and those dog days, preseason, and the start of the regular season here. You don't get so many, only but so many opportunities to go out there and put your best foot forward on a Sunday. And yes, there are players on this team who have long-term futures assured. There are a lot of guys who don't and they're playing for opportunities beyond this year. And when you combine all that together, it makes every game meaningful for anybody in the NFL. And that's just the way you look at it. You wanna go out there and get a win for all that work that I mentioned you put in throughout the off season to get to this point. I know Carolina's in a difficult situation when you look at the standings, but it doesn't change the fact that every week in the NFL, as I mentioned before, you hit that reset button and you try to get yourself a win. And that's the approach this team has always had, regardless of circumstances, they're gonna approach it that way. And you can best bet that this team is going to put its best foot forward when they face the Chargers on Sunday. Thanks for the question this week, everybody. We'll do it again next time right here on Panthers.com.